Can I just uh, welcome everybody uh, this evening to the Houses of Parliament? It's really good to see so many friends and people I consider colleagues. My name's Henry Smith. I'm um, a co-chair of the All-Party Parliamentary Animal Welfare Group. Uh, and it's really been a passion of mine um, in my time in the House of Commons uh, to uh, try and stand up for and promote various animal welfare issues. Um, and that's why I'm really delighted to see uh, so many of you from different uh, animal welfare charities and organisations here this evening because you really have made uh, a huge uh, difference. Um, we were just discussing how um, uh, the other week I uh, managed to get um, Tate Modern, the Tate, Tate um, Gallery, to, to drop having foie gras uh, on their menus, a fantastic uh, achievement. Just talking with Mark earlier on about how Lucy's Law is now coming in in terms of tackling uh, puppy and, and kitten smuggling uh, and some of the appalling abuse uh, that goes on. Um, talking about some of the work again with Fragoire about, um, I had a debate here in Parliament a few months ago about uh, trying to um, ban the importation of that cruel uh, that cruel uh, product. Uh, and also just last week in the House of Commons I was speaking on um, the ability um, when we leave the European Union uh, to uh, be able to ban live animal exports for slaughter. So there's such a huge piece of uh, animal welfare issues that need addressing. And now I think is, is such a good time. I think we have reached a moment of better public consciousness, not that we should be complacent for a moment uh, about that, but also greater engagement here in Parliament uh, and from um, government in terms of uh, starting to realise that uh, animal welfare is uh, a central core issue that needs addressing. So things like, for example, increasing the minimum sentence for animal cruelty uh, from six months to five years. Um, I'd make it longer myself, but uh, I think that's a really that's a really good start. But there's so, so much further to go. I was just having a discussion a few moments ago about how in terms of battery farming, for example, that's almost legalised cruelty that we have at the moment in the agricultural sector. So there is a long, long way uh, for us to go. But um, say it's really my delight uh, tonight uh, to be uh, hosting uh, Paul's here today. Thank you for my first mince pie of the season, <laughs> a, a vegan mince pie, and it was and it was it was absolutely um, delicious. Uh, so, um, as I say, thank you for su your support. Please continue doing what you do in terms of raising public awareness and consciousness, um, lobbying your members of parliament, because um, I can tell you it really does have an influence when uh, you open up the email inbox and people, constituents are emailing you passionate about uh, an issue. Even if it's an issue that a member of parliament might not have been very familiar with themselves, if they know that they've got sufficient numbers of constituents who are interested, they will engage uh, and uh, hopefully they will act and, 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 and will we'll join the cause more broadly. So as I say, a very warm welcome. Um, enjoy the evening. I don't know if I'm ha ha handing over to a presentation or... Yes. <laughs> so, um, and I just would, just would say in handing over to that presentation, I'm sure we'll see the slides in a minute, that no doubt you've opened up your, your red envelopes. Um, there are some really powerful statistics in there, some very shocking images. Uh, but that does reflect the growing reality of cruelty. Uh, I've, I've maybe struck a sort of a, a more optimistic note about the future, but I think cruelty in some ways is, is growing in prevalence. Um, and therefore, you know, more, more power to you uh, in, in, your, in your campaigning. Thank you. Thanks. My name is Cher Chevalier. I'm a spiritual advisor, author of 31 books, co-author of the meditations that launched Calm, the iTunes app of the year 2017. I'm also co-creator with Judith of the Hands Off campaign, an anti-violence campaign, and founder of Animals Actually, co-creator of Paws, and very proud mother of four pets. <laughs> <laughs> Having been born into a family uh, that boasts four generations of vegetarians and vegans, um, ensured that kindness to animals was very much a part of my upbringing. So to see animal welfare standards improved is very dear to my heart indeed. And this pause idea came to me during one of my prayer and meditation sessions back in 2016. And Judith Clegg here very kindly and very painstakingly collated all the statistical data for pause 
and the document was very swiftly delivered to government and 10 Downing Street. And now, uh, two years later, here we are with a policy for animal welfare scheme that could end the cruel puppy farming industry as well as the barbaric illegal pet trade. So we hope that all of you will help us to achieve this noble goal. Hello everyone, I'm Judith Clegg, an entrepreneur, co-creator of the Hands Off Campaign with Cher, founder of Takeout Innovation Agency, co-creator of Paws and a very proud pet mother too. I was brought up to love pets and since then I've come to understand through the teaching of Cher and others the horrifying extent of animal abuse. Philip Wallen, philanthropist, former Citibank Vice President and Honorary Fellow of the Oxford Centre of Animal Ethics says, animal rights is now the greatest social justice issue since the abolition of slavery. It is a great blessing, honour and indeed my duty to assist this vital policy. Mahatma Gandhi said, the greatness of a nation and its moral progress can be judged by the way its animals are treated. So let's all do our very best to make sure that pause is implemented immediately. So the British are a nation of pet lovers. Yet despite this, as Henry was saying earlier, there are significant pet welfare problems. Some are due to enforcement issues of laws already in place, and some are due to legal gaps where expansion of the law is needed. Pet breeding problems are multifaceted, and up to 400,000 farmed puppies are sold to the British public every year an estimated 4.3 million unplanned kittens are born to UK households. One unspayed female cat could be responsible for 20,000 descendants in just five years. The EU's most profitable illegally traded commodities in this order are drugs, arms and puppies. A Dogs Trust survey shows in the last year more than 47,000 dogs were heartlessly left unclaimed by their owners in council pounds. Cats Protection estimates that there are 9 million stray and 1.5 million feral cats in the UK. 98% of vets are asked to euthanise healthy pets. The League Against Cruel Sports estimate that there are hundreds of dogfight organisers in the UK. RSPCA inspectors investigate more than 149,000 complaints of cruelty and neglect every year. Criminal gangs make up to £35,000 a week that they're not paying tax on, by the way, selling dozens of fashionable breeds. So pause pet breeding <coughs> solutions. Breeders will be required to buy an annual licence. One-off registration of newborn pets and an option to breed licence for unneutered and unspayed pets. There will be a national database to track all pet welfare. Taxed income from pet breeders to generate at least £350 million annually. And this ring-fenced revenue is to fund independent animal inspectorate and animal welfare charities. Appoint a minister for animals. The UK government has a minister for children and families and for women and equalities. It stands to reason that the UK's 51 million pets must have a minister too. Paws benefits. By enacting Paws law we will end cruel puppy farming and puppy smuggling, stop backstreet breeding, curb the breeding of dangerous dogs, implement a central tracking system, have a fully enforced animal welfare system, reduce the birth rate of unwanted pets, support partner charities, and of course, generate significant tax revenue. Paws law will create a win-win for pets, for responsible loving owners and breeders, for the government and taxpayers, and for animal welfare charities. The pause next steps. 
we need additional animal welfare law enforcement guidelines. A swiftly implemented private member's bill, Henry was talking about this earlier, and further government legislation. So please kindly go to your phones and follow us on social media. We are Pause Law UK on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Um, Our <laughs> hashtags are Pause Law and Pause Law UK. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you.